Hello. Hi. Sorry. I just got my colleague in Um. Yeah, I don't really. I just had some, um, like a consult with Vanessa this mm -hmm. morning and she just asked me to, to come and take a there's a medical certificate from yes, the doctor that states otherwise uh from what vanessa has told me hmm. um so this here yeah. is the medical certificate it clearly states the above named patient was seen and examined by me mm -hmm. on the 19th and in my opinion he or she is slash has been medically unfit from the 19th this patient has throat infection and Concurrent ear infection, which are contagious. She needs to stay at home with her mother and away from other children slash poor hunger during that time. She needs to eat and drink regularly and during the time as well. So it clearly states that in the medical certificate by yeah. this is, is, doctor is she, at is she? Hours, is she? She is slowly getting. She's slowly progressing. The fact that she's got a medical certificate that clearly states she needs to stay with me for the seven days, and because there's other kids over at her grandma's, as mm. you know, that is why the doctor said it's best that she doesn't be over there and that she stays with me because there's no other kids here, so that way you're less likely to spread it because mm. we've already been around her anyway. Yeah. Okay. Can, can I just see her? Can I sight her? Can I just... I'll, I'll go and grab it, yep. cancelled the appointment 235 on Tuesday mm -hmm. and we had this one after hours yeah. 430 and she was literally lethargic and out to her. The temperature was 40 point cold out here. Yeah, it's cold out there. Yeah, take take it back in. And now she's at 36.1. And she but was at 40.7 yeah, So her temperature is dropping and she's been having her meds in there eating in that. So that's a much more improvement compared to when the pack two was like dead. You know, there's no need for that. We, we knew something was wrong on the Tuesday when she got dropped off by um, Sarah, or whatever her name is, Sarah, mm -hmm. because when she came to the car, she seemed like she was down again. Like, Jessica's been giving her medications and stuff like that that, that she can give her, and she has been perking up each time she's come. But the issue then became on Tuesday afternoon, we got home, 4.30, mm -hmm. she's like... And so we, we rushed her down to the medical medical center, mm -hmm. not knowing that it didn't open till 5.30. So we stayed there for an hour. Yeah. And then the doctor looked at her and, he, and he, the first thing he said was, she's not to go near other children. And we said, and the, I asked him, because I know what you what the organization is like, okay, um, I know that I said, Look, what you put on the medical certificate is not gonna um, be did appropriate inform, for them. Did you inform the doctor about uh, the current Yes, yes. I said to him it was an Oranga Tamariki case. And that's why he said that because there's other kids that go over there, she needs to be away from those other kids and with people that, you know, she can get get better. Mm. So that's the reason why we explained the whole situation and everything like that, made him aware that, okay, if she does, you know, if you just say that she needs to stay over there, then you just got to be aware that there are other kids there. And mm. because we've also informed the Kohanga that given that she went to Kohanga on Friday, those other kids have potentially been exposed to this. Yeah, that um, was the Friday, the first day that she went Yes, to because I kept yeah. her home on Wednesday. Because, because of it. The, the symptoms starting. starting. So that's why you know she shouldn't be going and going by the guidelines. She needs to be staying home if she's got a runny nose or a cough. So that was the start of it, and then that's why I each sent you that email. And then when you sent your email back saying, well, you know, she needs to go there first, and then if they think she's only too yeah. unwell, yeah. still pick her up. That's why I found that really concerning because it's so, trying to undermine so, the appearance of the Um, Okay, so that's the only time that you've seen the doctor was when you booked her. As far as yes. I'm aware, she made that appointment at 2.35 yesterday, cancelled that session. On Tuesday, yeah. No. It was Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. And then all of a sudden, I went to after hours and then did that. Yeah. Because I mean, as soon as she got in the vehicle on Tuesday, we took one look at her and went, she's, she's probably going to go down. Yeah. And then we got home by 4.30, it was, let's get her to the medical centre. And that shows you the time frame with the emails that I received versus me taking her down there, how rapidly she can change. Yeah. All right. So I'll just go back to Vanessa and see what she thinks. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to force coming out. Or yeah. is that in the fact that with this medical certificate, the doctor said, you know, if she doesn't... So when is the seven, 
So this was issued on the 19th? On the 19th. But the thing is, Bradley's been communicating, stating that the doctor has now stated otherwise. But that's not until Bradley has talked to him. And he says that he has said in the communications two years ago that I have told the doctor it would be better for her to stay with her mother. What I stated to the doctor, because what he said to me was, when he was dealing with, um, what well, well, Jess was dealing with Bubba in the um, medical clinic, he said to me, um, this is what I'm going to write in the medical certificate. Now, I know what OT is like as an organisation, so I said to him, is it possible for you to put, like you're saying to us, she needs to stay where there's no children, Oranga Tamari, he won't accept that. Could you put in there that with, you know, with her mother, and he, if you want her to stay with the mother? And he goes, yes, I can do that. So he changed it himself. I asked him the question based on how I know you guys deal with things. So I'm not saying I didn't ask her, because I did. I just want you but to Bradley's also, interpreted it in the wrong way. I just want you to also realise that the reason why you know we have said what we've said is because of this medical certificate and the doctor said that if she doesn't improve by Thursday and she gets worse, that would require hospital admission. Yeah. So if only because she's, because she's actually she's on antibiotics yeah. like amoxicillin and i can't remember the name of the other one yeah yeah i don't not sure the but other she's one got streptococcal got. throat yeah and he swapped her on the basis that he would get the results sent to the doctor in upper hut on thursday and if they came okay. back as streptococcal throat then she's going to have to go to hospital okay so we are expecting that today yeah the uh, result of that swab test is coming mm. out True. Yes. Hopefully that should be the case. But yeah. I just want to let you know that because given that you know if I hadn't taken her down there, yeah. that would have been more drop. She would have been in hospital because she did not seek the medical attention that she needed. Exactly. So and that's why we've stated to too Bradley it's medical neglect. She in her email she said that she's not sick or anything. You can go get a check. But I know my daughter. That's why I took her down there, and that you know that shows the right decision that's made. She and if, could have ended up in hospital. If you look at the communication that came from actually stated to her she does not have a cold if you think she does you seek medical advice yeah, yeah. all right um and we need to go okay. i have to report to vanessa and, and see how we go okay okay, okay. thank you right. okay. Look, we'll you <sighs> i'll do one here too <sighs> Hello. Open there. Um, just want you to realise that by doing this, I'm not going against medical advice. I'm doing this because of what the judges had to say, and I don't want to put her through any trauma that you guys are going to be doing. Okay? Yeah. So her medication that she has been prescribed is fallen here. The amoxicillin. Did you manage to find out the result of the um swab it's apparently come back normal she oh. doesn't have to so this one needs to be kept refrigerated she's got one dose of this left for tonight that's at 8 30 all the instructions are on here so that's best to be passed on to go email or copy of it so all the instructions are there um yeah all right it's pretty much all needs what needs to be there she needs to make sure she finishes the course and has every all the medications. Also regarding that, what is what safety plan do you have in place for my daughter over there, given that she didn't take her to that appointment and now look what has happened. Well, I'm gonna tell her that she needs to, uh, yeah, and she's always been like letting us know if we're available that she's gonna take her to the doctor. It's just that I was not aware of what was happening last week. But yeah, she, she needs to, to she needs to bring her to the doctor after hours if she thinks that she's sick. But the thing is that she had that appointment and she cancelled because she had improved much. And this, yeah, only, this only happened an hour and a half, two hours after yeah, that cancellation. But see, talking to her isn't enough. Like, that's the thing, it's one thing to talk to her, but that clearly doesn't work. So what safety plan do you have in place that if she doesn't go through with what needs to be done, which I have been meaning all your days, as like, I would normally is do. She still, is she still um, quite sick or do you think she she's is, no, no, she is getting better slowly. She still has the fever in it, so that's why I'm saying, what safety plan do you have in place? Other than talking to her, which is obviously not enough. We'll put it on the system. If something happens, it's going to be on the system and I'm the after hour social worker. So I can go and, and but you realize this is um, the second or third time now. We, we need to go. We need to go now. 
So I'm the thing is you'll come here. I'm trying to explain to you and ask the right relevant questions that I'm about to know and the information to that. You've already found my daughter by allowing this to happen and you haven't checked your email communication. So I've been in communication with Bradley, with yourself, with Vanessa and yet look where this has left my daughter. Like I said to you early yesterday, you know, had I not taken her to after hours, you wouldn't be standing here right now. She'd be in hospital. That, 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 that's the that's, that's the bad part hospital. about it. She was not far off on on the Tuesday night, um, having to go to the hospital. It shouldn't have to be like that. And the uh, the other thing, the other point that I'd like to make is, you guys are doing this, and you know that in the court there's no grounds for it. It's Bradley has submitted paperwork today that only so shows one side of the the um, argument. Long? Did, did she take the portini that she had uh, drinking? She's been drinking it, yes. Oh. There's a moxicillin. Oh. This one, she's only allowed one of <coughs> one, so all the instructions are in the actual yeah. oak oh, right. in here. So... But you being the main social worker, Marlene, you're not fulfilling your obligations to Jemima under the Act. That's mm -hmm. obvious. What do I mean by that? There are certain requirements that you guys have to meet as social workers under the Act to not being met. It simply is not being met. She's been taken back to the place that has caused her to be lethargic. You know, the, that's the issue. There's, there is care and protection grounds there for her not to be returning to there. You know, the, um, the proposal that she's put through to you guys under 1051C yeah, you know, there's no reason why you guys couldn't have accepted that for the next three or four days. But you've chosen to go about it this way instead. Also, and not supply the court with the full information. Also yesterday, you stated yourself you did not want to basically force, force my it. daughter to come back to her mm. placement. So yeah, if that's the case... It's the court, um, no, 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 no. No, no, no. The court would not have turned around and done anything if, if you guys had supplied all of all the information the as we did. So you One email from a doctor that is in my opinion, being coerced, does not give grounds for that. And to me, you know, I, we, through email communication, we can show that we've been trying every which way to try and resolve this in the best interest of my daughter. But you, you guys doing what you are doing, that is not helping her. So when you say that I'm not working collaboratively, So with you, all, we, like, hey, all you need to know, Jess, so they have no safety plan in the place next, for the child. The next access would be Monday. So... Well, the seven days ends on the Tuesday because that's when she was taken. So, What's, when's the next? Um, the, uh, ends on the 26th of July. Yeah. So, so after the Tuesday. Kohanga, yeah. She's going to have to come here and have overnight here after Kohanga on a Wednesday. So you're saying. Oh, no, 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 no. No, so no. Monday. 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 Yes, I bring them to. Yeah, but. But you're not going to be able to because she's got that seven day isolation yeah, period, so which is what we tried to get them to adhere to. 26th of July. July. Right. Yeah. July is so our no, Tuesday. Oh, is it Tuesday? Yeah. yeah, on the Tuesday, yeah, on the um, Tuesday. That, that's when the pickup would be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, we're forthcoming with the information. I don't know why OT is not. So we're, we, yeah, we could have said yes Monday, but no, we know it no, goes till Tuesday. The 26th is when they end, the seven days. So when is the next time that access is? Well, by the sounds of it, they'll drop her off for Tuesday. Is that correct? That's right. 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 Yep. This is the usual time. And I just want to stress, Marlene, we were not trying to cause any issues. It was simply that the doctor, the doctor did ask about the medical certificate. Okay, mm -hmm. and the only reason I asked him to put that on there, like I told you the other day, is because it's difficult dealing with you guys sometimes. And as, as has been proven, um, they've gone away and tried to um, undermine her parenting, even though she went and sought the help that the caregiver did not. So she has all the medication in there, the paper in there clearly states it. I've all sent an email out to everybody so that everyone's aware of exactly what is contained in that. Yeah. All the clothes in there are clean, mm -hmm. so there's no need to be washing no. anything. Okay. She's had some food for ready. dinner. Well, she's had snacks because, well, you know, you guys see 5.30 and yeah. according to there's 6 o'clock. Yeah. So I've given her, been given her food to be able to tie her over to so, them. How about if we sit down with, how about if we, when we, talk, when we go into everything about here, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, and then um, if anything happens, let you know, right? Let her email you or let us know. If there's that, but there's also the fact that if, you, if she's making an appointment, neither, neither Jess nor Sue are medical professionals. She should not have cancelled that appointment.
okay and she's not seeking the medical help when it's required cancelling it could have hospitalized this child Sorry, and we know about the, the appointment at the hospital on Thursday. She's somewhere yeah. Yeah. Okay. But given that she, you know, cancelled that appointment, yeah. there should have been a plan put in place for this, Marlene. She's not sick. I go get a check if I wish to. Well, I know my daughter's sick, so this is this is the type of stuff we're talking about. Yes, she may be, you know, her grandmother, and that she may say she knows her, yeah. but she obviously doesn't know well enough because she didn't. But she's saying she's not sick. She and sick. did she send that communication she sent to Jess to you as well, Marlene? Stating that. When was that? Um, yeah, on the yeah, Tuesday. Right, right her, um, did, did she? Did you get that one where she stated to her, "You, if you think she's sick, you get her yeah, check." Yeah, she, she said that. Okay. That's right. Well, you have to go and get her then. Yeah, where is she? Okay. She'll just go and grab her. But this is here. Yeah, it's not right that what's happened. And you know, this could have simply been solved, Mylene, if Bradley had just done what she asked. I get there's the Privacy Act, but anyone can sign off as a doctor on an email. There was nowhere to say where it came from. That's what he's got to realise. I realise you probably haven't known about most of it, but you're the main social worker in her case. And so you're responsible for her. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, even coming out on the night, you know, last time it was an uplift at midnight. Now we got her pig being picked up at 5.30. It's not, not the greatest weather and she's got a cold, a throat infection and an ear infection. So today, between Oranga Tawariki and the courts, this justice system is corrupt. Very, very corrupt. You're not even following your own legislation. Will you be here ongoing social worker, Pauline? The reason I'm asking that is because as far as I'm concerned, you haven't fulfilled your help. And, you know, she needs to be able to, if, if, if this is how it's going to um, be ongoing, then her, 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 um, her care arrangements have got to be sorted properly because she's not getting the care she requires. Yes, I know. I'll just go back from here. No, no, let, let them take her. Yeah. They came to pick her up. Let... I love you, darling. I know. Mummy loves you. As you can see guys, another time that Oranga Tamariki does not do the right thing by the child. Poor child is again forced to go to a carer that didn't bother getting the medical attention she required only three days ago. In fact, cancelled the appointment. Yet it's been directed that she must go back to that carer. Even though she's sick. 